get ready. Okay. Are we good? Okay, sorry about that delay. Uh, uh, it's 12.21, I'm going to call the meeting back into session. Okay, uh, we have had a request um, due to an access need uh, of one of the makers of D.11 to uh, take that up now um, because, of, because of certain access needs. Is there uh, any objection to taking up D.11 at this time? Um, there is talking in the assembly, and so I can't tell if those are objections or just conversations. Is there an objection to taking up D.11 at this time? Okay, hearing none, the item before us is D11, clear up the definition of public in the artist categories forever. Uh, it is found on page 13 of your agenda, and we have uh, allotted eight minutes of debate for this. Uh, I will recognize Terry Ash as one of the makers of the emotion to speak to it. Uh, are you able to come up to the podium? Okay, the podium microphone. Terry Ash, she, her. Um, as the current definition of public stands in both the plain English version and the Constitution, too much is left up to an individual Hugo Awards administrator. The only thing it says in the, but in both cases is such as convention art shows, um, which means that that becomes the default when when works are not. Uh, displayed in convention art shows, but are shown in any number of mat, uh, arenas that are considered public, as in the internet. All of it, um, they can be excluded, and this has happened um, specifically in this year to uh, in a work that it was not known that it would be excluded, and it is probably the work that got the artist in question on the ballot. Um, so, we need to create an expansive and inclusive definition in the Constitution for what public is so that it no, no longer becomes an individual question. Thank you. Thank you. That was a speech in favor. Is there a speech against? I recognize Martin Pine up at the podium. <coughs> Excuse me. Martin. Martin Pine, he, him pronouns. Mixed chairperson, I move to refer D11 to the Hugo Study Committee with instructions to invite the proposers to, dis to participate in this and all related discussions related to the fan artist category. Okay. A motion has been made to refer uh, D11 to the Hugo Award Study Committee uh, and that the maker, the proposers of D11 be invited to participate uh, both in conversations about D11 and everything related to fan artists, is that what I heard? Yes, please. Okay, and the motion has been seconded. Uh, do you wish to speak to your motion? Yes. Okay. Still Martin, still he, him. Uh, so, couple th so two things. First of all, the, the Hugo Study Committee has already been charged with dealing with everything relating to professional and fan artist categories. The categories honestly are not working out well, super well right now, but I believe this discussion needs to occur holistically and making piecemeal changes to the categories is not a good way to approach this. Second, I believe there are some technical issues with the proposal currently stated. For instance, the internet is not clearly defined, so if something was, say, behind a paywall on the internet, it's not clear under this proposal whether or not it would count as fan art. I believe these technical corrections need to be made. I support the principles behind this proposal, but I think it needs a bit more work before we can consider it. Okay, that is a speech in favor of referring to committee. Um, hold on. Now that I can see you all, uh, is there a speech against? Okay, I will recognize Kath at the back uh, if somebody can bring a microphone to them. It's the blue microphone. Kath Demick, not up yet. There we go. Kath Demick Mahaffey, she, her, and it is in there that it is under any setting 
on settings not requiring a fee to see the image in full resolution, so that is actually, Martin's point is actually already in the amendment, and I believe that because we're dealing with this currently actively in having an impact on Hugo nominations and voting at this point in time, we need to be moving on this more quickly than the nominating committee, which did not even meet on this question last year, has been evidenced to, to do. Thank you. That was a speech against uh, the motion to refer. Is there a speech in favor? I will recognize Ben Yallo up at the microphone. <coughs> Ben Yellow, he, him. While it is true that the committee that was appointed last year failed at its duty to discuss things relating to artwork, it is also true that the other committee to which this motion is being referred actually met a whole bunch of times, discussed a whole bunch of things, and is in fact likely to continue to improve its methods of discussing, as has been raised earlier in this debate. Therefore, I believe we can trust that the Yugo Study Committee will in fact discuss this vigorously, probably with far less uh, unanimity because this brings on hot, this addresses a bunch of hot button issues, but it will be discussed and I have confidence that the chair of this committee will report it back next year uh, to the appropriate discussions and hand grenades that will be thrown at it at the next year's meeting. But it will be discussed and it will be brought back. So all this does is it delays the discussion for a year while we think about it. And we could use that extra year. Thank you. That is a speech in favor. The motion to refer. Is there a speech against? I'm going to recognize Chris Braithwaite up at the podium microphone. Christopher Brathwaite, he, him pronouns. As far as I can tell, this proposal merely codifies how fan artists is actually being treated at this point and making sure that for future Hugos, the use of the internet is clear that that is someone who would qualify as fan artist. I see no reason not to just clear up the confusion for future administrators. If the Hugo study committee wants to make changes thereafter, they're perfectly able to do so. Thank you. I see you, bitch. Right. Thank you. That was a speech against. <coughs> Excuse me. Is there a speech in favor? I'm going to recognize Cliff Dunn up at the microphone. I believe you only have like 15, 15 seconds. So I'll be brief. Cliff Dunn, he, him. Uh, I, the main thing that we need to deal with is if we if we are adjusting fan artists, we should also be handling professional artists. There are some conforming changes that would be necessary, and those should really be part of the same amendment rather than two separate amendments moving in two separate years. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a speech in favor. Where are we on time for against? Uh, against has a minute and a half. OK. Uh, is there a speech against? Um, I will recognize Terry uh, up at the podium. Sorry. That Terry, not that Terry. <laughs> Boy. Uh, Terry Ash, she, her. I recognize that the artist categories are borked. I'm working on that problem. Unfortunately, I only had the spoons to do one thing at a time. And there, I see no reason not to fix for eligibility next year something that can be fixed now. Thank you. That was the speech against. We are out of time for speeches in favor. 
Is there an additional speech against the motion to refer? Are you wishing to be recognized? Yes. Okay. You don't have a yellow card, so Sorry. I'm not but sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will recognize you up at the podium microphone. I think we all know that the Hugo Award Subcommittee will get their teeth into best professional and fan artist um, with alacrity this year, and uh, but we've wasted a year, unfortunately. Um, I think that what happened in the best fan artist category this year with disqualifying a work only because it appeared on the internet was a grave injustice to not only the artist, but to the Worldcon community. And this will fix that. This will tell the future Hugo administrators that it is the will of this body that they also look at things that are on the internet. Um, and I think that that is worthy of doing as soon as possible while the Hugo Award subcommittee uh, wrestles with the alligators of <laughs> professional and fan artist. Where are we in time? 20 seconds. Okay. That was a speech against. We are still out of time for a speech in favor. Uh, we do have time for, uh, is there anyone wishing to make a brief speech against? Seeing none, we will move to a vote. Um, those in favor of the motion to refer D11 to the Hugo Award study committee, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against? And the motion fails. Uh, so we are back to D11. The last speech we had was a speech against. Uh, how much time do we have left? I will let the timekeeper finish doing math. We have 30 seconds for and a minute and a half against. OK. Uh, is there a speech in favor? I recognize Joshua up at the microphone. <coughs> Josh Hehim, I move to call the question. Okay, the question has been called. Point of order. Has there been any substantive debate? Uh, what is your point of order? Has there been a substantive speech against? Oh, sorry. The motion. Yes. Yeah, I mean, the motion to refer counts as a speech against, um, and so we have had a, both a speech in favor and against. Okay, sorry. Uh, so I do not sustain the point of order. Um, and the question has been called. Is there anyone still wishing to speak to D11? Okay, so we will move to a vote on. Right, so we will move to a vote on calling the question. Uh, this requires a two-thirds vote. Those in favor of calling the question, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against. And the motion to call the question passes. So we move to a vote on D11. Those in favor of D11. Clear up the definition of public in the artist categories forever. Please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against? And the motion passes. Yep. 